Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just sitting down making kind of a chill video. I recently ran out to the Dollar Tree, all the Dollar Generals in my area, as well as Target, Dollar Spot, or Bullseye Playground. So several different places and I've been finding some really cute items so I thought I would share it here. I know this is kind of like a mashup haul but sometimes it's really fun to take a break from DIY and to show you guys what I'm finding out of the stores. Okay, so first up, Dollar Tree is putting out their summer items at my store. So I looked through the summer aisles, found several new things that I wanted to share with you, especially like the planter things. They have a lot of like stakes with signs on them. But the first thing that I found were these MDF, they say yard stakes, but I'm not gonna put these out in the yard. I don't feel like they would last that long, but these are perfect to put in little pots or planters. So one says, life is better when you are laughing, plant seeds of love, give kindness daily, let your dreams blossom, sing in your garden. They have this gorgeous detail on the edging, so many different colors. But putting this down in a pot or planter would look so cute, especially with like a bigger plant. Or if you do make like a faux bouquet for outside or like a faux planter of fake flowers is what I'm trying to say. But these are really, really cute and they would just really dress up any little planter, stabbing this down in the dirt. So I'm all about new planters and I found these little plastic ones. Now at $1.25, I still feel like this is a good deal. These are really hefty. They're not gonna disintegrate or anything. They're like a nice plastic. I got a couple in black. We only had one white one left in the store, so that must be really popular. It says grown with love and it has that gorgeous little floral detail on both sides. And then the two black pots say live life in full bloom and grow happy. These look so nice. So whether this is your style or not, anyone can kind of put in white and black in their homes I feel like but I think these are so so cute and with a green plant in there this would look adorable whenever I find something new I usually buy it in a set of three if not grab four of them that way I can do a set as well as something individual but that's just because I'm crafting all the time but I found these little galvanized buckets at the Dollar Tree now I have seen these in different places at different stores so this was randomly sitting in the party section at one of my stores but in a different store it was just up front with all the Easter stuff or spring stuff with like the normal planters so I don't know where you're gonna find it at but I thought these are really cool this is a perfect blank slate if you want to put like some Cricut decals on there Dollar Tree sells vinyl you could just cut out a strip of that or a heart or anything and put on here if you don't have a cutting machine but these are so cute and I think they will be so fun to decorate for spring so I usually skip the toy aisle, but these were up front in the summer stuff where they have like the badminton sets and the rackets and all the things, but they have this three pack of, it says baseballs. I thought these would be really cute covered in fabric. You can Mod Podge them, I've done this before, or even scrapbooking paper, just Mod Podge scrapbooking paper on here, tissue paper, napkins, anything kind of with that soft texture, tissue paper works well. But I thought I would cover these for spring. It's a perfect way to add in pops of color, different details, maybe like a floral print. But I thought this was a perfect blank slate to just really decorate. So if you see these, grab some because I'll be putting these in a DIY very soon. So I thought these were a really cool item. They are really colorful and cheerful and kind of a good size. Once again, these would go down in a pot or planter, but they are bigger. If you didn't want it as a steak, you could kind of just rip the steak off, use it for something different, put a hanger on here. They do make really cute signs, but they have this happiness blooms from within. Friends are flowers that never fade. That one is so gorgeous with the neutral colors. I guess it's my favorite of all three. And the last one says, where flowers bloom, so does hope. So that's really, really pretty. I love all of the spring colors that is coming and it makes me a little bit more brave to put colorful stuff in all of my crafts. Let me know in the comments down below if you decorate for Easter. I know some people don't, some people do. I haven't done a lot of Easter DIYs this year, but um, I do have some ideas. I could put those together if you wanna see that. But I love decorating for spring, so I usually don't always get a ton of bunnies, but I did find these and I thought they had a lot of potential. It's this really cute bunny shape. I do have the bunny bottom. Um, with a little cottontail. I picked that up the last time. So I'll put those to good use. And then just a couple of the Easter signs. So with the polka dots, I get a green one and a pink one. And I just think that metal piece in the front is just a really nice look. 
um, on a sign and I wonder if you could even pop that off and like put it on your own sign. So that's something that I might try. Tell me in the comments if you've done that before. I've done it on smaller words, um, but this really seems glued down so I'll have to test that out. Whenever my Dollar Tree gets fabric, it's usually kitty print fabric. So I usually pass it up, but they had out some like n neutrals plus blue, um, which I guess could kind of be more of a neutral color, but it is like this really fun patterned fabric. So you can see the white kind of woven through it and it's like got a lot of texture in there. So I thought these would be really fun to use, especially for springtime. I love pops of blue in everything. So I've seen this out for a, quite a while, but I just found them at my Dollar Tree, so hopefully you still have some hope to find them, but they're just little wooden eggs. I was so excited to find these boxes. They have the little truck on there. These are so easy just to throw in some florals from the Dollar Tree, and it's so inexpensive to have a gorgeous bouquet of flowers setting on like an end table, side table, but you just put them in this box, and it's already decorated really pretty, and this was my favorite box that they had out of the store because I love the little truck. Picture frames uh, always get me. I can't ever leave that aisle without grabbing some. They had this really soft blue color. It's kind of like an eggshell blue or like a deeper blue. I don't know what that's called, but it has, it kind of looked like stitching around the edges, but I think that might just be a flaw. It looks like it had polka dots that kind of smeared. So I don't know. This is the only one in the store that they had, so I'll have to look for more to see if it was supposed to be like that. I picked up more of these little wooden frames. I recently made a video and I put some little pressed flowers in a frame like this and I am obsessed with it. I think it is absolutely adorable and I found the pressed flowers at Hobby Lobby and they have tons of different colors. So I thought I would make some more. This would be great gift ideas or just a play around. I thought my girls like would have fun doing this with me. And then for the last type of frame that I got was this little honeycomb pattern. It was really cute. It's a really like yellow gold, so I might paint over that. I even thought maybe a matte black would look so pretty because this frame had so much texture. I found these really cute little blue lanterns. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, so if you have any ideas, please share them down below. They already are a really cute color. These would be perfect to go outside, but they are battery, so I'm not sure. I, Whenever I buy something like this, it's battery. I don't really depend on the light working all the time, but these would still be really, really cute, just kind of dangling from a plant hook or something, and um, I don't know, you might could even like find an LED with a timer on Amazon or something and replace those, but I thought these are really cute. I'm always a sucker for Dollar Tree's magnets. They have some really cute ones. I like this canvas one, as well as the little coffee shaped mug and the tea bag. I thought these were really, really fun to put on the fridge or craft with. And then I found a couple of new styles of ribbon. I think I've seen this sunflower before. The cotton is new to me, but they might've had it. I'm not sure, but it's like this tan little cotton, um, has two like little cotton stems in it. So I thought that would be really fun to craft with. If I'm making bows or something, I really prefer like wider ribbon that has, or it doesn't even matter if it's wide, I just really like ribbon that has the wired edges, but I know the Dollar Tree doesn't always have that, and if they do, it's more of like a cheaper ribbon, um, kind of has like a plastic feel, so I don't know. Let me know um, how you use this ribbon, but it's still fun to kind of wrap it around jars and containers, and you can make many little bows, but sometimes when it has this print, it's hard to get the print on the outside of the bow instead of like, I don't know, one of the edges being tucked in and the side being white, if that makes any sense at all. A really cute find were these carrot bags. They say shaped gift bags, but that is the perfect orange burlap fabric that I thought you could like cut out something with this and craft with it, uh, but it is cute as is, and if I didn't use it, I will put my kids a little gift in there maybe for Easter, but these were a really cute find. And then something I always grab if I see them are these huge boards, um, for decor. So I'm not really sure what Dollar Tree wants us to do with this. Maybe they want us to spell a word down and craft with it, but I feel like this is just plain Jane. It says decor on it. One of them is like this like egg colored blue and I don't know, it's really cute, but I love crafting with these. You can take a utility knife and just score the top a few times and you can break it off, sand it down and it will make just a plain board. 
but so many things you can do with this. I love picking these up because I feel like this is a huge piece for $1.25. Okay, so that's everything that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I told you all this is going to be a mini little haul, but when I go on Dollar Tree, it's nothing to spend like over 50 bucks whenever I'm trying to buy supplies for multiple videos. So it was just fun getting to go and not really need anything. I have like a bunch of my videos planned out. I'm trying to use up my crafting stash. So just picking up a few of the brand new items is really, really fun. I did share a video making some crafts with brand new items that I was finding and I posted that earlier this week so I'll share that down in the comments down below as well as the description box if you want to go check that out but that's everything that I picked up at Dollar Tree but then I ran into Dollar General well actually several of the Dollar Generals in my area and found some really cute items okay so all of the stores are getting out Easter I try not to go overboard with Easter because I like to get, bring in more spring items that can kind of ease into summer but I found these little bunnies they were one dollar so that even makes me appreciate Dollar General even more because of Dollar Tree going up to $1.25. But finding these little bunnies for just a dollar, they have these adorable little tags around their neck that say Easter. They have a little pom-pom for the tail. And I love the polka dots. Now these are like a wood color, um, but they also had pink, blue, purple, green, I think. But really, really cute. You could collect your whole little family, maybe even put it on like a little board that had your last name on it. But these were so, so cute, I could not pass them up for a dollar. Another really fun find for a dollar from the Dollar General was these little birdhouses. Now this one, well both of them, actually already are losing the little roof piece, but I can glue that back in place. But I was actually going to pop these off anyways, maybe recover it with my own scrapbooking paper so I get my own print that I want, and then put the little galvanized roof back on there. But thought these were really fun. These would also be really cute on like a large palette sign. Also with those little Easter bunnies, they had a lot of these beads. So you get a few beads, but then an egg. These would be so cute on a tiered tray. Maybe even wrap these around like your canister sets or maybe hang them off of a lantern. But I love that pre-painted little egg for just a buck. This will add the perfect amount of color and decor into your home without having to switch out everything, but just kind of weave this into your decor that you already have. Dollar General always impresses me with their home decor. Like they have like, must have like the best designers ever. So um, I found this sign. It says love lives here, but I love that gorgeous pattern at the top and the bottom and how this is kind of like a 3D piece. These were six bucks. So super inexpensive. If you want to, if you would have went to like Kirkland's, this would be like $14.99, maybe $10.99. But I thought they were a great price. I also got it in this gorgeous blue color that says home is where you are. So, so cute. I love these and cannot wait to decorate with these. And then another fun item that I found was this little box. It was 10 bucks, um, but it has this really cute galvanized piece on it. And I love all the little details on here. You could use this for multiple things. I wanted to kind of use it as a mail holder, but you could put like some greenery in there, style it however you would like to, but I thought this was really, really cute. You could even like set this on your counter and maybe like put your tablet in here and then you plug it in, maybe your phone. Um, our girls always like throw the tablets on the counter so we could just kind of tuck them in there. That would make it look a lot nicer, but I thought this was really, really cute. Such a great deal for just 10 bucks, something that I'll get to use for years and years. Okay, so everything else that I found at the Dollar General was 50% off, so I could not believe it. We went in multiple Dollar Generals, and some of them had these items for 50% off, and then like four other stores did not. They were just on the, on the shelf for normal price, so definitely check all of your stores. I don't know what it was. Maybe they rotate the clearance at different stores for that reason to try to get you to shop around. I'm not sure. But like I got this little house, originally $4 for two bucks, so 50% off. I thought that was a great deal. I'm not crazy about the colors in the background of this, but I could easily trade that out by Mod Podging on some fabric or scrapbooking paper. And then Dollar Tree is hanging up a lot of their signs with the little wooden bees, which I feel like upgrades it completely. This is really cute as is, love it. But you could pick up two of these, maybe even three of them. Was $5, now $2.50, like I said, at one of five stores. So you have to shop around. But you could make this over. You could easily put some like different background on it, paint it white, anything that you want. You could cut out with your Cricut. You could put a new like Dollar Tree decal on it. 
So many things you can do with this, but I loved it. And then the last item that I got was also half off. So uh, this was $3 and I got it for $1.50. Now it just has these little plants or leaves in there, but I, for $1.50, I could not pass this up. You're not going to find this good of quality at the Dollar Tree. It is a super nice sturdy piece for $1.50 and I will be making it over. And then next I ran into a Bullseye Playground where most of the items are like $1, 3 and $5 for the items that I found. But they had some really cute finds so definitely stop in your Target if you pass by one. I am a sucker for cute laundry room decor. I love this white little washboard for three bucks. I purchased the wood one the last time I was there and then, or the time before this time, and this time I saw this white one so I was like, I'll just own two. If I change my style up in the future, I'll always have it in a different color, but these are adorable. I love the real little galvanized plate in there, but for three bucks, I feel like this was a great deal. I also picked up one of these blank houses. I actually have like a wedding shower to go to, so I thought I would customize this and put it with my gift. So I'm gonna do that. This was three bucks. I thought I would just put a big initial on it and then kind of fill out the bottom. So I'm hoping that I get that done in time. But they've had these for a while, but I recommend grabbing a few because so many things that you can do with this. Okay, so for Easter, I found these little wooden eggs, which I thought were really, really cute to craft and decorate with. And then I found some little tiered tray fillers. So this one has a little truck, an egg, and a little crossing sign. So these are really, really cute. So if you have tiered trays to decorate, stop in Target the Dollar Spot because they have like the nicest quality items that are going to be super cheap. Next, I picked up these little ceramic planters. These were $3. Now, they're just like plain white. They're not even like a bright white. They're just the color of like the, the clay, I guess, that it's made out of. It looks unfinished to me, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But it says planters slash lines. It says $3. But this is so, so cute. You could paint this so many different colors and put your own plant in it. Next up, Target had a ton of like white ceramic bunnies, so that's a really cute place to get some neutral decor. I grabbed these. They look like little salt and pepper shakers, but they're not. They're just tiny little ceramic bunnies. My mom actually bought these, and she set them with a bigger set of bunnies, and she thought it would be really cute if you actually got like the amount of members that was in your family. She was going to get enough for all of her grandkids, but I think these are really, really pretty. I also picked up a uh, three, actually, for all three of my little girls. We're going to plant like a little greenhouse, just something we ordered off Amazon, but plant our own seeds and I know they will be so excited to water with these adorable little watering cans. They had several different colors, but these were $3. And then I was so excited from Target. I got this for five bucks. I know these were super trendy, or they are for, have been for the last couple of years. This is plant stand, but when you stick a couple of different plants in there, that looks so adorable. It looks like a mini little greenhouse. I'm all about like growing flowers and we grow our own garden every year. So this was really, really cute. I love how it's white. I, I feel like I bought a black one, but I don't see it here. <laughs> but I know that I purchased a black one just like this. And that way, once again, I can kind of trade them out. If you wanted to, you could spray paint this any color to match your style. But I love how this is metal and this is going to last for a long time. Okay, so I think that's everything that I picked up. I thought this was a tiny mini little haul and it kind of was. It was super fast. But I do kind of have a big pile over here. So I'm going to have to go film all that or film all the B-Row to show you guys up close. But I really had fun. Let me know in the comments down below if you like videos like this. Sometimes I just feel like I get a few things from here and there. And I just start using them and I forget to share what I bought. So let me know if you like this type of video. I would love to bring you more hauls like this. I always like hold out until Dollar Tree has like all brand new things that I haven't seen people posted everywhere. But then some people tell me that they've been seeing those items for a month. So you can never win or lose here someone's always going to beat you to the punch but it's still fun to bring you along and share all of the new items that I'm finding let me know in the comments down below some exciting new finds that you're finding at Dollar Tree I know they're putting out Easter like crazy right now but like I said I don't decorate a lot for Easter so it's fun to me when they start putting out like the everyday home decor and they really focus on that and they get out some really gorgeous pieces so I'll be excited to go on my Dollar Tree road trip and check out like my five or six stores that is local to our area thank you all for watching don't forget to hit the thumbs up button make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next video happy crafting happy shopping <laughs> bye